You know, when you're looking for love, you want to get on with it. You want to get moving, right? When you find it. Who wants to wait when you think you found someone that you can share this joy of love with? But sometimes guys don't move at your pace. You might have had a guy who moved really slowly in a relationship with you. Well, today I'm going to explain why men move slow in relationships. Hey, it's Carlos Cavallo from DatingFire.com and DatingAdviceGuru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. Well, love seems to want to move really fast. In fact, it's hard to put on the brakes once you get going, right? But if you've ever found yourself in a relationship where you're going quicker than he is, you know, you're moving fast, he's moving slow, chances are you're just thinking this guy is moving too damn slow. First of all, a lot of guys use this for an excuse. I just want to take it slow which is really just him trying to hold back from moving forward at all. Not all guys are avoiding a relationship, but this particular phrase, I just want to go slow, if he says it in response to you trying to move forward, well, that typically means he's just a little bit scared, which is not a problem unless he keeps his foot on those brakes. But what does it mean to take it slow from a guy's perspective? Well, here's a few factors. Number one, a guy wants to be comfortable, meaning that he wants to not feel like he's being pushed into a relationship or a commitment. Guys do not like being pushed into a relationship any more than women do, okay? But we are also very sensitive to that as well. Men are naturally slower to go into a relationship than a woman is. Now this difference in pace does not mean that men are scared of commitment, nor does it mean that he doesn't want the same kind of close connection and relationship that you do. It's just that men know that they are more susceptible to emotional distress if this relationship doesn't work out. Guys simply don't have the same skills you do to recover from that kind of thing. A woman is likely to have a relationship and break up and then be incredibly emotional about it for a very short period of time. Sometimes a little longer, but you get my point. A guy will have a relationship and break up and then he's a complete train wreck for a year or several years. Sometimes he never gets over it, but you don't know because it's hidden under the surface. Now here's another factor about taking it slow from a man's perspective. Sometimes guys will say that as an excuse for keeping it a relationship of convenient sex. He just wants to have a good, you know, weekend buddy. There's an old saying that sex is a choice for a woman, but for a man, it's not only a game, but a lot of work just so that he can get what it is he needs. So you have to realize that when a guy says he wants to go slow, he really does want to pace himself so that he doesn't sabotage the relationship. So now let's get into the specific reasons for a guy taking it slow. Taking it slow, reason number one, taking it slow gives him more time to build connection. Now specifically, a connection that doesn't freak him out. The truth of the matter is that when a guy gets sex too quickly, which means before he's had at least three to six dates with you, yes, at least three to six dates, that can freak him out if he gets it too soon. He won't know necessarily what is freaking him out, but he does know that if he sleeps with a girl too fast, he just won't be able to form the right kind of bond with her. It sends an invisible signal to his nervous system telling him that this isn't quite right. This is one of the reasons that women know to keep things slow in the early stages of a relationship. At least they used to know this. Unfortunately, these days, everybody's programmed to jump in bed as soon as they possibly can because that's what they do in movies and on shows on TV. Well, women are taught to have sex like men do, or at least how we seem to want to. But the truth is that while a man tries to get sex, he tries to get sex quickly and early, it's actually a test. A man has a biological need that puts him into a horn dog state when he finds an attractive woman, but that doesn't mean you have to succumb to that or even give in to his pressure. The truth is that if you don't give in, you're more likely to create an attraction bond with him that will last. Now, unfortunately, most women perceive that a guy will just leave her if she doesn't immediately jump in bed with him. And let me tell you this, nothing could be further from the truth. Do you know how to make a connection with a guy? Did you know that a guy wants to know that he is compatible with you before he makes a commitment? After all, you probably want to make sure he's compatible with you too. Well, I've got a great quiz that you can take and you can find out if you two are actually compatible. Go take it now. Datingfire.com forward slash compatible. It's datingfire.com forward slash compatible. All right, next reason that he takes things slow is that he knows you gotta get things in the right order. Now this might seem like an extension of the last reason I just gave you about going slow with sexual intimacy, and it is in a way. You see, we are programmed to progress in a relationship in a certain order. 
For example, the first step is to meet and flirt. There's actually a huge amount of things going on in this one step alone. There's eye contact, body language, there's flirting, there's enticement, there's seduction, you name it. And all of these activities are like a combination lock to love. If you put one thing ahead of the other, the lock doesn't open. One of the first things you have to establish is attraction. Right after that comes trust and some level of connection. And then further on down the road is sexual intimacy. After that comes a deeper form of emotional vulnerability. That creates the long-term romance. All of these things in the right order create a relationship that will stand the test of time. But if you skip or rush to do things that are a little bit more appropriate for a mature relationship that's further down the road, before you leave the proper before you have the proper foundation this is going to cause confusion hesitation and even distrust on the guy's part so be careful about how fast you move forward take your time at each stage so that you don't miss anything and you're also paying attention to your own needs along the way Look, I know it's hard for me to tell you that there's no rush when you probably feel like some other slut is coming along to steal him based on simply giving him quick and easy access to her bedroom. But the truth is that women who do that inevitably lose a man's trust. Take your time, do it right, and you can keep him right from the start for as long as you want. After all, you only need to do this right one time, right? So take your time and be patient. Why is he taking it slow? Reason number three, he wants to build friendship. Yes, even guys realize that friendship is incredibly important for a long-term relationship. Taking it slow allows him to figure out whether or not you two could really be good friends. Sometimes women overlook the friendship part, even though they talk, they talk good trash about needing friends up front, right? Men know that women often morph and change their presentation of themselves to meet a man's expectations. So a man wants to know he's seeing the real you. That's going to take some time, time to check you out and see if you're the real deal. Hey, before I go on here, you know, smart women, they get these tips every week and I know you're a smart one. So once you hit subscribe, turn on notifications and you can get these videos delivered to you every week and you'll know exactly when they're released. It also helps support the channel. I really need that. So don't miss out. Taking it slow. Reason number four for him is that men need time in title. Time in title. Back when I was in, working in corporate America, there is this term called time in title. What that simply meant was how long you were sitting in a, a job. You might have even heard this term, pay your dues. What that means is that we simply that we all expect someone to not get promoted before they should, right? You want them to pay their dues. They should actually have to do the work to get the recognition, right? We don't want anybody to get recognition before they should. It feels wrong to us. Nobody likes it when the new person shows up and steals the show and gets promoted past you. Some upstart or smarty pants comes in and jumps to the head of the line. I mean, that's it, right? No one likes it when somebody cuts in line ahead of us. Well, guys need time to feel trust in a relationship. Men develop a connection with you simply by the amount of time they spend. Okay, we do this with other guys and the same thing is true with relationships with women. We will feel more connected to you if we've had time, sufficient time, to spend with you not doing a whole lot of anything. <laughs> guys can sit on the porch not talking to each other, just sitting there with each other and that builds a strong relationship between them. What we like more than anything is just to be present with each other. But to a woman, this feels kind of cold and distant. So this secret should open your eyes a little bit. The more time you can spend with a guy doing, well, sometimes almost nothing, the better. This doesn't let him off the hook for romantic dates or taking you out to do things. But when it comes right down to it, women want the activities with their man. And for him to show, what he needs to show is his desire for her. A guy just wants to know if he can still hang out with you and feel comfortable with you without any kind of interaction. Next reason for taking it slow, number five, is remember that taking it slow helps you figure out whether you're actually developing real feelings for him or you're just infatuated and horny. Yeah, that's it. I mean, after all, there's a huge difference between liking somebody and feeling intense sexual attraction. There are deep feelings and emotions here. And then there's also the real biological need that we feel as humans to make, you know, little, more little humans. I think they call them babies. Human relationships start out intense and very physical. Then they evolve into a mellower trusting space where you can see yourself spending the rest of your life with a person. Just remember that taking it slow is a good strategy for figuring out your true feelings and it helps you too, okay? 
Next reason for taking it slow, going too fast means you might miss red flags. Now I'm sure you had a relationship where you looked back on it and you realized, yeah, that was a huge mistake. I wasn't seeing a bunch of things. My eyes were clouded over with love. We've all done this. If you move too quickly, you could make a mistake. You could miss a signal that would tell you that the relationship is not quite right for you. And then before you know it, you made a commitment and rather than leave that commitment, you spend years and years trying to make something work that just won't. And God forbid, sometimes you even get married to this kind of guy. Contrary to popular belief, not every relationship is supposed to be forever, right? Most of your relationships are supposed to end. They are simply a training ground for you to figure out what you really need. And guys do this sort of thing too. Look, there are truths about relationships that modern society has lost. If you want to make a relationship happen, you have got to understand how men think, how we work, and what we do in relationships. There's no other way to do this. And the fact of the matter is that most women don't have a clue anymore. They don't really know how to get a man to move forward faster with her. Now, if you've got a guy who is dragging his heels, who's moving way too slow, who's taking his sweet time moving forward in the relationship, you might be stuck. And the secret to getting him to make that commitment to you and get unstuck is very simple. Flip his obsession switch. Every man has a switch and it's the secret to getting him to move forward faster. It's kind of like a turbo boost on his desire for you. Go watch my video on the obsession switch and I'll show you how this works. Go to datingflyer.com forward slash obsession. You can find out how the switch works and why it's so important in a relationship. Datingflyer.com forward slash obsession. Hey, and if you want more of this topic, of course, go on over to datingfire.com if you get a chance, or, well, here's an even better idea. If you're new here, or even if you're not, do the big three right now. Number one, like and subscribe so you can get these videos every week, and YouTube suggests them regularly if you keep watching them. Number two, turn on notifications. Click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button when you get, so you get notified when I release these things. And uh, depending on whatever you're watching this on, it might be a different button, but you get the idea. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, please share this. Share this with a friend or somebody you know that could use good information. Believe me, I know you know some women like this, right? And number three, comment below. Did you agree with the tips I gave? Do you want more of this? Do you want to play two? Whatever. I read these comments as much as I can and I try to respond to them each week. Hey, don't forget to wait just a few more seconds. YouTube's going to pop a couple of recommended videos right here for you to check out next. This is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.